Okay, this appears to be working. So, we're going to do a little demo here. This is the space game, and uh, what we've added here is a uh, fully functioning login uh, registration interface. So, I'm going to launch it here in a second here. You'll see the login panel that you've seen before in the past, and then, uh, so it asks for a username password. We'll just launch it here. So, uh, I, I'm on my own computer. This is not via the web, but this is what it would look like. So it'll, ask to, it'll launch it automatically. Uh, may ask you to see to to verify the certificate. Okay, so this is the space game again. This is not tap it. This is the space game. Um, but here's the login, and it's asking for a name and a password, and then there's a launch button. And uh, what happens is that uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and just hit the launch button with the default values here. And uh, what happens is if the username, there, there's, okay, before I do this, there's going to be three possible outcomes. Either you've already created a profile, you've registered, and... Uh, you're going to log in. Uh, or if you enter your username but the password is incorrect, um, basically anything when you do the username and the username is in the database is going to say, hey, that is not a valid combination, and, and it's going to give you a flag. Uh, if the username is not in the database, then it's going to say, hey, that username's not in the database so why don't you register and then it's going to open up a web page that uh, you can create a profile so let's go ahead and do this so uh, we're going to hit launch and uh, sure enough it opened up a new web page we'll come back to that in a second here you can see the message username anon does not exist go to the register to create a profile with this name it's there for 10 seconds and goes away Note the game is still active in our web page, but we've opened a new web page on the pbnggames.com site. This is the register page. Okay, and um, so we're going to go PJB for a username. We're going to do an email. Not a real email, it doesn't matter. Uh, you would obviously want to use a real email. There's not going to be an actual registration process. We'll put in a password. Okay, and register. Oh, but in this case, I've already used this username. That username already exists. Log in or choose a different username for your new profile. Okay, so we're going to create a new profile. So we're going to go fill it. B, all lowercase, except for the B is. Do it. Email at something. Com. To a password. Okay. Then hit register. Ta da! And you have created a new profile with the username Philip B and can now log in. Note we are now on the login page of the website. We can go and log in. And I'm logged in. This doesn't really affect the game directly other than the registration process. That's the whole point, is to register a profile. So then we go back to the game, which is still open and running, okay, and now we've created a profile, and uh, it was Philip B, and we're going to put in an incorrect password, and hit launch, and it's going to go, oh, that was not a com valid combination, that username and password combination is not valid, please try again, or go to the website address for the registration page to create a new profile. So let's use the right profile, right password, launch, and finally, we 
we are logged into the game. Welcome back. That's who I am here. You can see the chat bar. We can talk. F1 toggles the, this help screen. Some of that information is out of date. I do have to get that updated. In case you've forgotten the C key, it's very important. It toggles between first person point of view and third person point of view. If you're in the third person point of view, using the right mouse button, uh, hold down the right mouse button and drag up and down to zoom in and out. Click and hold the middle mouse button or the mouse, yeah, the middle mouse button and drag left and right. Up and down to change your point of view. Do not use the leftmost mouse button as it kind of moves you around and can really throw you off course. So if you find yourself with your ship off screen and everything seems off kilter, just hit the C key. And this will reset you back to a first person point of view and it will reset your third person point of view. The N key will toggle your frame rates up here in the upper right corner. Okay. can click on objects to target them or you can use the tab key to cycle through the different targets. see them out there in the distance. Oh, it's quite a distance away. Uh, the I key will show your inventory in your chat window if you have any. Right now we don't have any. Let's go get some. So, well, we did the login thing, and that was the main thing that I wanted to show you. Um, inventory is not permanent at this time, though that's certainly on the agenda for the near term. That is a point of having you create a profile. G will turn on the glow filter, which gives a really nice look to everything, but it does cost quite a bit in frame rates. Alright, now that we have something in our inventory, we'll click the I key again and we'll see. Oh, we have one. Unrefined ore, one kiloliter of unrefined ore. All right, well, there you have it. All right, so you can uh, go to the um, Space Game website. I'll have the link up, and you can launch this game in your web browser. Remember you'll get three free launches per month and then you'll have to download the game 
and you can launch it from your home computer. Uh, this saves on bandwidth, that's the main reason why we do it. It's better for you to launch the uh, standalone version than the uh, website version. You have a little more uh, responsiveness to it as well. And plus you will have a resizable window. You will be able to resize your window. Which is always nice. Alright. Well, there you have it, login demo.